medication. Yeah. And the problem was that she went to see her doctor and said, could you sedate me for three or four days, whatever it takes? And of course it's dangerous. We can't, you can't knock somebody out for three or four days while they're getting their hips replaced. So I get the call. And this lady has basically spent her whole life avoiding anything to do with needles or knives. In fact, when I got inside of her house and met her, everything inside of her house was completely soft furnishings. There was no knives and forks, it was plastic. There was no chrome in the house. She got to a stage where she was completely agoraphobic. That means she was completely housebound. She wouldn't go out of the house. Which really spoiled her life, you know? So I get the call and I get to meet this lady and she's stuck in the house and she tells me this story that when she was a little girl, her father had threatened her with a knife. Now in the circumstances, I think there was, the situation was there was a very heightened state of emergency going on. It might have been in the bombing in the war, I can't remember exactly what it was but she had to sit and be quiet, and she wouldn't. She's a little girl and she's being noisy, and she didn't want to sit and be quiet. And her father was chopping up some vegetables and he turned around and he threatened her with a knife. Now that's faithfully imprinted inside of her mind for her whole life. She'd gone through her whole life organizing and arranging everybody to help her avoid anything to do with shop, chrome, knives, needles, or anything. She missed her daughter when she had the baby. She couldn't go into the hospital. She couldn't go and visit her husband when he had an accident. She didn't really do much. But one interesting thing what she did do is she used to love watching Casualty on TV. She kind of got a kick out of it, you know? Strange. So anyway, um, I used a whole bunch of techniques because I never really know what I'm going to be working with when I'm with a client. Um, I use NLP, I use hypnotherapy, I use a thing called integral eye movement technique. Um, and basically we managed to shift that thing that was stuck from all the way back, shake it up, get it out. The good news is that she had a hip operation She'd back out in about six weeks. She'd started ballroom dancing. She was out doing her own shopping on the bus every day. She'd even bought herself a bike. How about that? So there's a wonderful story there. I mean, basically, somebody who's been holding on to a memory of something so traumatic throughout their whole life, it can be removed really quickly and just gone, you know?